Hello, I'm Mani Navasodi and I'm here in Waltham Abbey um, outside the Spirit of Isis Healing Centre. There was a programme on BBC Three quite recently where teenage exorcists were coming from America and they were out here talking about this particular shop. And they were demonizing what it stands for, uh, as well as saying that London is a hot spot for lots of demonic activities. The BBC program failed to get the other side of the story, where they weren't given the opportunity for right of reply. It wasn't even proper investigative journalism. And I'm here to talk to the owners of this shop to find out what they have to say. And the most hurtful thing for me was, um, with especially with the goddess Isis um, on display at the window and being called a demonic Jezebel. Um, totally disrespectful. Um, this show was absolutely disgusting on so many levels. Um, not only was our shop Spirit of Isis demonised um, and slated, but it was allowed to be demonised and slated by the BBC. It was very convenient for these girls um, preaching their hate uh, and their judgement and demonising our shop without even asking us what we um, do. It's taken me two years to build up my reputation here and then for someone to come along and just talk about my century in a negative way. I'm a legitimate business here. I pay my tax, I pay my bills. This could seriously damage my business, my earnings. Um, my circle, uh, a development circle I teach here, a teenage psychic development circle was um, was demonised and was also uh, it was also made to be that we are targeting the youth. Uh, a, the purpose of a documentary is to show balance um, and different points of view and the narrator um, and the filmmaker who filmed the whole documentary, Dan Murdoch, um, did no such thing. He made no effort whatsoever to question these girls. He allowed them to comment without showing another point of view, without interviewing us. Throughout the documentary it was stated that these girls are spiritual and their acts of exorcisms uh, are acts of spirituality which is a complete joke, um, is completely wrong. These girls are glamorised head to toe, selling these exorcisms, asking for hundreds of pounds of donations uh, for their so-called cause, uh, that is not spirituality. When I see these teenage girls and Bob Larson, who's the father of one of those girls, uh, and then I look at me and my mum, I see the complete opposite sides of things. I see these girls as being brainwashed, I see negativity, I see uh, hatred preaching hatred, preaching intolerance, which is the complete opposite of our centre, Spirit of Isis. We promote peace, we represent every culture in the world, we preach well-being and healing and freedom. Uh, Waltham Abbey in general as a town they know of our centre as a place of healing, as a place of sanctuary. Um, when I am here, it's incredible to see our clients walk away feeling uh, healed and revived, uh, whether it's through a therapy, healing session, uh, yoga, which we do every week, um, or through their own spiritual development. I've seen uh, an incredible amount of growth and healing take place in this centre. These girls fail to zoom in to all the positive things we do here, which everything we do is positive. There's nothing really um, on our perspective they could have slated because it's simply their opinion, but uh, they fail to zoom into the yoga that we do, the homeopathy, uh, therapies, healing. They failed uh, to zoom in because if they did they would have seen at the bottom 
Spirit of Isis will be donating to save the children on this occasion. Nothing mentioned about the charity work, um, the yoga, the counselling, uh, the homeopathic clinic, the healing, the treatments, just portrayed in a certain way. Had that been um, in a mosque or at a church, you know, th they totally wouldn't be able to have that. Here we welcome all walks of life, all religions, all beliefs. We have a place where people, well, whatever their spiritual journey. So we're not only part of the community of Waltham Abbey, um, this small this small town, but we're also part of a much wider community, um, the English community, the whole of the UK, the spiritual community. Although the centre has been portrayed here um, in a very negative way, um, I've been overwhelmed by the support that we've had from our clients um, and our regulars and friends. We know what we do here, our clients know what we do here, and a few more people will know now what Spirit of Isis Healing Centre does do, which is healing, teaching, guiding, and comforting, and that is spirituality. The goddess Isis, when she wants to be known and get out there, and as I say, the goddess works in mysterious ways.